Hi children, good day to all. This is Masi and I work as an English teacher at Trinity Academy in Namakar. Today we are going to read about the standard 6, second term, first unit, poem, teamwork. What is teamwork? It's a combined effort or action of a group. To achieve a common purpose or goal. So, and this topic, we are going to see about the author. Look at this, about the author, Edgar Albert Guest. Behind his illustrious career in 1895. Illustrious means well known. At the age of 14, when his work first appeared in the Detroit Free Press, his column was syndicated in over 300 newspapers and he came to be known as the poet of the people. So the nickname of the Edgar Albert Guest is the poet of the people. He was made poet laureate of Michigan the only poet to have been awarded the title. His poems often had an inspirational and optimistic view of everyday life. Let us move to the poem now. This is little bit lengthy but we are going to divide each 8, 8 lines. We are going to see first 8 lines. It's all very well to have courage and skill and it's fine to be counted your star. But the single deed with its touch of thrill doesn't tell the man you are. For there is no lone hand in the game we play. We must walk to a bigger scheme and a thing that counts in the world today is how do you pull with the team? The first eight line tells that it's a good to be a player of courage and skill. It is also good to be treated as a champion. But you cannot achieve fame by doing a single heroic deed in all alone. A lonely player cannot achieve anything great in any game. To achieve great success, one has to be cooperate with his teammates. That's why the poet are ending with the question. Next eight lines. They may sound your praise and call you great. They may single you out for fame. But you must walk with your running mate or you will never win the game. Oh, never the work of life is done. By the man with a selfish dream, for the battle is lost or the battle is won. By the spirit of the team, until this, we are going to the second stanza. See, at a time, a single player in a team can be praised and called great. How about the team? People may single out one player and make him famous. But you must cooperate with your fellow players also. Otherwise, you will not win the game. See, if you want a fame, you should uh, mingle with others, team player. A man who is selfish can never win a game. He cannot finish the work of life all alone. Yes, we cannot do all the activities alone. The team spirit in any game is very important. It plays a decisive role in winning or losing a battle. Next, you may think it fine to be praised for skill, but a greater thing to do is to set your mind and set your will. 
on the goal that is just in view it's helping your fellow man to score when his chances hopeless seem it's forgetting self till the game is over and fighting for the team here it is o apostrophe r e is over it is a poetic abbreviation so the the last stands are of course that you may be happy if someone praises your skill in the playing game but you must focus your mind and will on the goal and lies ahead your fellow player may have no hope to win but you must help them to act fast you should induce them till the game is over you should forget yourself you must not be selfish you should work hard and fight with the team spirit then you will achieve 